My dear friends, this is your Dr. Pandit Selvam on behalf of Guruvi Consultancy. This video is exclusively food for your thought. See, when a country uh, is functioning uh, using the government forces, they need a revenue to protect the people with sufficient welfare and sufficient facilities, make the people surviving, qualitative as well as uh, comfort. There are tax, but there are many revenues collected from the public to maintain the country, state or nation. So now, why the, what's the purpose of opening your globalization? When Manmohan was saying is there and present also, we want to invite more number of foreign investors to bring more and more investment to strengthen your infrastructure. What's the purpose of it? To create employment, to get more revenue and your inflation could also be under control. Your currency will also be getting more and more value. Your national income will also go up and your GNP will also high and GDP is also good. That is why I think globalization has been opened. The gate was barrier free so that anybody can bring their investment. But the investor will decide whether it is the right time to invest, whether it is the right uh, condition prevailing in the particular country, so that the people will be free to come uh, for investment. I just to take the similar example to your uh, area, to your state or your territory. See, there is a territory in uh, India. Avangalikka vandu, on the territory la vandu, income vandu, podumarala virukku kidakya villai. They love to explore through so many things. What are the things? Now, for example, a territory like Pondicherry is well enough in construction technology, solar technology, and the spiritual kind of environment and the tourist kind of things, so much of things. So when you generate one after another, and the exchequer came on the it has been proven in Thailand and many countries in the world. Tourism on our sector to attract people outside. So, or in the Samitla on the Pothamana Vermana Mille, Pothamana Revenue Yilla or Labrina, generate Pondra the government of the community, the citizens should not be burdened. And again, I will come to the exact uh, point. Territory of Pondicherry, the Pondicherry is alone, uh, it's hardly about uh, 40, some uh, 50 kilometers. Other uh, city in Path of Tina, 5 to 6 kilometers. Angirikar Kudia, the mean municipality, they need revenue. So one day they find that uh, revenue is not sufficient enough, they meet a deficit. So in order to meet that, what the best decision to be taken to exhaust the existing resources into productive to generate revenue so that will give you a pleasant kind of feeling among the citizen to create but the very purpose of the state mechanism and the government mechanism to provide well welfare and it is not just for the profit maximization or revenue generation. Whatever is earned will have to be better utilized. If more revenue is required, we should not burden the public and we will have to find out the sources through which the resources will have to be brought under use because India is a country, we don't have any deficiency, we don't have any deficit of your resources. So resources can be any time augmented. So now, a small city like Pondicherry, where there is about people move around 5 kilometers, like foreign countries, they bring their investment because you want to have a more and more purchasing, more and more investment. So that will inflate the economy and again the inflation will be under control and more production will bring a lot of changes in the country. Similarly, there is a market center. And there are people around five or six kilometers, so they have to come and they have to spend their money and they have to give income and that out of income, more kind of income is generated, more tax revenue will be collected, so much of things. So all of a sudden, when you, the small place where, I think you know, people also have limited income, when you come to a market to buy your things, 
you have to use your uh, kind of uh, two wheelers three wheelers or four wheelers so now unless you roam around you cannot stop your vehicle and go to the place to make your purchase now there is an announcement given very suddenly that is all the kind of vehicles wherever it is bought will have to pay 20 rupees almost most of the places are going to be covered whether if you are having a four wheeler you have to pay 30 rupees and when you bring a two wheeler it is 10 rupees but my question to you is I think, you know, I don't blame anybody, I don't criticize anybody, but uh, the planners and administrator will have to see that citizens are citizens. Citizens are not to shoulder always the responsibility of the state mechanisms, but to some extent they can cooperate. It doesn't mean that every time they should be penalized for any revenue to be generated. And uh, taxes are taxes, direct taxes, direct taxes, or the taxes now it is also brought under GST. But there should be a meaning out of it because we are generating uh, lakhs and crores of money, lack of crude. So again and again when you penalize, the people will get disappointed and business people will again lose their interest and again the devastation and what's the meaning of it and you know, make your uh, people's life so miserable. So the, the policy makers and uh, today the economic uh, theories are won only by welfare. The Amitya Sen was awarded only because of welfare. Mohammed Yunus was given uh, uh, award, I mean, uh, Nobel Prize because he had, he had bridged the gap between uh, richer and uh, have nots. So, everywhere I think you know, we follow after this welfare. Before anything is announced, on the ad hoc basis, a no announcement will have to be imposed on the citizens. And uh, people will have to be privileged, people will have to be enjoyed, people will have to enjoy their comforts as long as they live. So if you take the tool of again and again penalizing, burdening and again uh, putting all the responsibilities on the shoulder of the citizen, it won't be known as a welfare street. So this is not only for a particular place, it is uh, universal. There is a level to impose your tax, there is a level to penalize them, there is a level to collect the revenue, there is a level to take their blood. But if you just crunch the entire thing from them, then I think what's the need of the states or what is the need of the welfare mechanism? Everything will, not, will turn to vain. The very purpose of the existence of uh, the government, assembly, representatives, the using of this uh, democratic setup is to take up the issues and bring a solution for that and when uh, you can also invite uh, so many innovations, innov inventions and bring a lot of discovery out of which always prove that people will have to be benefited, people will have to be benefited. So it's a food for thought, alarm of thinking and allow your brain to brain of yourselves, failing which will have to shoulder a lot of responsibilities. So it will sometime will become unbearable. Thank you very much.